for a basic roller set. You want to make sure, first of all, that the hair is wet down. For this length of hair, this is approximately how much gel that you would need. Okay? Remove it from the container with the spatula. Okay, put it on your hands and work it through. You want to put your gel on first, put it all over the hair, and then comb blend it. Now, for the basic roller set, we're going to do it in brick formation. We're going to start and take the rollers straight back. Depending on the hair length and how much the desired curl is would determine what size of rollers that I would use. Our rollers come in several different sizes. Okay. You want to make sure however many times that the hair can travel around the roller will depend on how much curl that you have. You want to make sure you go around at least one and a half times to give some type of an arc to the hair. Now again, depending on the size of the roller that you're using will determine what your section would be. It's always the length of the roller but as far as the width of it is based on the diameter of the roller. You don't want to go larger than the roller that you're using. We're going to be doing on base, so we're going to be combing it out, okay, at opposite of the 45. You can see if you comb it straight out from the scalp and wind it down, that would give you a half base, which is a 90, back at a 45 degree angle would give you an off base. We want to create the most volume, so we are going to be doing an on base. So we're going to over direct it the opposite of the lower 45. Make sure that the hair is wet. Get the ends in. Keeping the comb in your hand. You want to use a rat tail. It kind of helps you on some of those ends to tuck them in. Using tension, wind it to the scalp. Secure it with your clips on both sides. Now you may only need one. Usually on the top you want to do the two clips on either side to make sure it doesn't move around. Once I have my first one in, it's sitting right on the base, I can continue my part back. We want to go back to the crown. So I can go ahead and make my lines. And then all I have to do are my subsections. On very straight, resistant hair, you could use end papers to protect your ends and help to give you a little more control. And again, I want to over direct. Make sure you have the ends on, make sure it's combed smooth, wind it to the scalp. They should just be touching. Make sure that your clips are on the base. You don't want to clip them any other part or it'll leave an indent in the hair. Again, comb it smooth. It should be smooth on the hair. <laughs> this is the most common pattern, is straight back off. The sides will go straight down, then the back will go straight down. If your client would like to have a bang, you could take your first roller forward. You could do it off to the side. Or whatever their the way that the way their hair, however you want the hair to be directed. Once you get to the crown, to the crest of the head, we're going to start on the sides. Now, this is where we want the brick formation. I think it's easier to work around the head until you're used to doing this. Again, you want to comb it smooth. <clears throat> Your section 
cannot be any wider than the rod, or I'm sorry, the roller that you're using. The same length. Remember to comb this so that up, it's like a 135 degree, so that it'll come down on its base. Secure it, make sure that the clip is on the base. I get my first one in, my next one. I'm going to put beside it. Again, coming it up. secure them either side. I'll put it in this way. I can show you something here. Now, you may have some areas where a full roller is not going to fit. Okay? You can use half sizes if you have it in the same size as you're using. This one is obviously too large. It's not the same. This actually is the same diameter. It's just a different color, but they are the same. I could use this half roller, or I can put a stand-up pin curl in its place where a roller would not fit. Stand up pin curl and clip it to its base. Now, my next row, when I go to do it, I want to do in brick formation. So wherever I had a half roller or a split, I want to be able to reinforce that by using a four full roller in its place. This will make your comb out much easier, much fuller. It's just like the wall, like the brick wall, how whenever bricks are stacked up, they always put one to support where the other two came together. And again here, I can put a half roller, or I could actually put two stand-up. I want them all again on base, so I need to make sure that I wrap that correctly. Okay. Now, as I'm continuing the brick formation, if I put it here, they're going to start to line up. I don't want it to line up. So I'm going to put a stand up in here so that I can use my full roller will be right where I need it to be to support the other split. Again, you want the full roller right underneath the split. You continue this the whole way down. Now, if the hair would happen to get shorter as you go, you would drop down in size of rollers. You never want to vary and bounce around like from a small to a large to a small to a large. You're going to have an uneven curl pattern. Continue working around the head until you have it all in and it's all in brick formation. <coughs> 